Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. Hello, I'm Urs Recho. And we're here to show you another how-to video. Yes, well Carl, um, my studio was clean this morning and you made a jungle out of my studio. Yes, there is a jungle of what looks like lots and lots of trees of lighting stands, but yes. there is a good reason. There's a very good reason. You have a reason for every single of seven lights you set up? Seven lights, yes, but the reason is because I'm trying to do uh, a fairly complicated and aggressive coloured lighting gel okay. shot. We've got our lovely model Svenja here. We're going to do a sort of bikini or underwear shoot, but I want her body to catch all this coloured lighting. And as you can see here, we've got a Cirrus uh, with a coloured gel on. That's bouncing into the floor, into the silver reflector, which is putting the red light here. It's going to put red light uh, into the shadows. Actually, let's explain that first of all. Okay. okay? Good. Effectively, we've got two clean light sources. We've got a satellite Starro yes. with a grid, which generally speaking, if I'm not correct, is a more of a beauty dish, but soft box type light exactly. with a centralized. Exactly, it's very centralized, so it's a little bit more crispy than, than a soft box. Yes. It just gives uh, stronger shadows. Exactly. That, that's, that's why I recommend it, you know, that-, uh, that For the stronger a... shadows, that's right. So, so we've got that with a grid, which keeps this light fairly tight in this area. But what we found on our tests was actually this wasn't going to end up being the key light. It was a little bit overpowering. Uh, I wanted a key light that would create uh, a light on the face and then shadows everywhere so that our gel lights would color the shadows. But we changed from that to this light source instead. This is a Pico light with the snoot attachment on and it's got a little grid in the end of it as well. Yeah. And you can see there, as Oz was shining that on Svenja, because it's a very concentrated beam of light, so it's only lighting the face. So this is now a main body light, just a very gentle fill on the body, whereas this is now our key light to get a catch yes. light in the eyes. This is still casting shadows, and this is casting shadows, but all of the rest of the lighting, this blue light into that silver reflector, this blue light into this silver reflector on the floor and this red light into the silver reflector is simply to illuminate color into the shadows. And then on the background, on the wall behind, we have a red gel and a purple gel blending the two colors together for an interesting background. And the other thing that's interesting with blue and red, when blue and red light combines, we get purple. And we're gonna get these interesting purple tones where the light meets in the shadows in the middle. That's the theory. Yes, is when, it when I work? want you right, I mean, this light is very, very selective. So if she moves, uh, she's out of the light. So Absolutely. So that's why I'm a moving stand. Yes, and you have kindly agreed yes, to help me with that. I, I help you. Yeah, and, and <laughs> Oz is going to move the Pico light around. So as Svenja models and turns position, we may even get the wind machine on the hair, but as she's moving around, Oz is going to move the Pico light by hand to keep the light on Svenja's face. That's what we hope is going to happen, and hopefully we're going to get a great shot. We've got it set up, we've got it tested, so we're pretty much ready okay. to go. Let's, Let's get on go. with it. Well, um, thank you, Svenja. That was a fantastic job. Very happy with that. The shot's very pleased with that. I know, oh, sorry, it was a very 
complex lighting setup and I've messed your studio up. Absolutely, but I, we still have two hours to clean it. Yes, and I am staying to help yes. you clean it up. Okay? That's a change for last time, yeah. <laughs> so Thank yeah, you. we did use a lot of gels, a lot of uh, coloured lighting uh, and a lot of lights, but hopefully the results uh, show uh, some interesting images, really happy with those. Uh, so well done, uh, thanks very much. So uh, I guess we'll see them on the next how-to. That's what I hope, yes. Thanks yeah, very much for watching, bye-bye. Thanks, bye. -bye. Thanks, bye.